J&V Restaurant Supply Team with Captain Darian White. Cola Bad Bear with rebounds. Miami. Madison Jackson assists. And your shooter from downtown, Leah Beatty. J&V Restaurant Supply, savor the difference. Well, uh, you know, looking back from uh, from two, at, at Saturday, I should say, uh, felt really good about you know our ability to withstand some things. Um, you know, certainly didn't want to get off the start we did, but you know, going into a situation where that team um, was back at home, hadn't been on the, their home field for quite some time, knew we were going to get their best shot, and, and they made some plays early, got some points on the board, and. Um, I, when I saw it, our guys, we didn't panic. You know, we were frustrated that the game was 14-3, but we didn't panic. Um, really put together a, a strong stretch, um, of most of the second quarter into the third quarter. And we scored 27 points after they had, uh, you know, put the 14 up and couldn't quite get it to a three-score game when this had extra point. Um, but defensively, you know, really, uh, really honed in. They were ultimately 2-14 of on third down, so... Um, felt good about how our defense performed on third down. And then we got the turnover late to uh, ultimately get that last score. So all in all, uh, a, a good effort, um, you know, plenty of things that can be looked at and cleaned up. But, um, you know, we continue to play with great effort, great res resiliency. And that's, you know, that's what we need to do as a team. And, and obviously with, uh, this, with this new, with the next opponent coming up in Weber State, you know, we're going to have to play, uh, play our very best to this point. Um, you know, they've played uh, very well, uh, undefeated, obviously. Um, they're good in off on offense, defense, special teams, all the way around, you know, and we're going to have to be able to match that. I'm glad the game's going to be played here at home, but that doesn't guarantee us anything. Um, but it will be a, a fantastic atmosphere, I'm sure, and um, we're looking forward to it and preparing like crazy. So with that, I'll open it up. Um, any update on, on the two safeties, Ryan and, and Reddy? Um, Reddy's out for the season. Um, Reddy suffered an injury. He played through that game um, against Idaho State. In fact, he's the one that put the big hit on Cal's interception, and that was his last play in that game. Um, Anthony checked out, and uh, he's going to need to have surgery. So unfortunate for him. And um, the statement we, that we put out on Ryland is the statement that we'll stand by for now. Um, and, uh, you know, hope that that's not a finality for, for him this year by any – or by any means, but uh, until we have inf more information, there's nothing more to say. What exactly was the Reddy injury? Body injury. Okay. And uh, the, obviously the two linemen who went out, uh, Cole and then Marcus, be probably up on them. Yeah, Marcus will be out for the season. Um, that was a pretty good blow um, to his lower leg. And then, uh, you know, Cole uh, will be interesting. I, I think his is one that you know, we'll find out through the week how quickly he can bounce back, but um, I think we'll have him back um, in a relatively short time. Whether it's this week or not, I don't know, but um, by next week, um, I think at a minimum he'll be back for that following week. And Jacob still still right tackle? Uh, Titan, yep. will he factor in there? Titan's out for the season. Is he? Okay. Yep. 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 Right. Titan re-injured a knee that he hurt um, early in the season, okay. so... Yeah, it does uh, you know those two injuries, and they kind of happen uh, in, in pretty tight fashion there in that game. You know that that thins us out a little bit. Um, it, you know, Jacobs played, so putting Jacob in there and obviously putting Omar in there, you know, is not um, that big a deal. But it does press now Connor Moore, a true freshman who has played in the game, um, <clears throat> into being ready to go um, on the inside. Joe McElroy. You know, is a, a play closer to being being in there. So those two guys in particular, you know, are that much closer to playing now. And uh, just one more injury thing. I, I, you mentioned last week that Isaiah had a checkup. Um, yeah, a yeah. Checkup. I think uh, you know Isaiah was out there practicing for the first time, and, and nothing to get too excited about. Um, but but first time, you know, with the helmet on all fall. Um, you know, so he'll be able to do individual drills uh, this week. You know, I think. I think what it allows him for now is to 
to get more ready for for football. You know, he's kind of been getting ready from a rehab perspective. Um, by and large, to this point, has been nothing really football specific. So, you know, that'll happen. And, and you know, where I've kind of been saying it's been month to month. I think it's it's week to week, not this week by any means. And in and, and, and all likelihood, uh, not out of the buy, but you know, we'll we'll have a couple couple weeks here um you know to see kind of how things go and you know he's under a you know a relatively strict uh, timeline based on when he had his surgery with his doctors and you know we'll just have to continue to see how he feels versus that relatively strict timeline in just a few minutes small business owners can now sign up for blackfoot communication services whether it's dependable voice options or internet services, sign up simply by visiting blackfootsmallbusiness.com. Click on the services you wish, select an installation time and date, and you're done. Small business services at the touch of your fingers. Connect to more with Blackfoot Communications and blackfootsmallbusiness.com. Back to Weaver State, um, any specific players or groups that stand out along those sides of the ball? Well, I, I think offensively, I think their quarterback's playing really well. Um, you know, he's making good decisions. He's getting the ball out there. They're throwing the ball uh, better and, and I think differently than they did last year. Um, I think they have a good receiving core. I think they have good tight ends. They're playing uh, really three tailbacks right now. And I, I think they all have their, their different style. Um, so they have really good skill uh, and, and they're not so dependent on any one particular guy at the same time. I, I think uh, so a lot of weapons uh, and obviously saying all that they're good up front uh, defensively. I, a lot of the same, I would say it's boy, if you can stop this guy, then you, you have them. I think they're just really good most everywhere. Um, you know, it, not necessarily this, I, they play a lot of guys up front um, and they, so they stay fresh. Um, I think they're, Linebacker core is strong. They, a lot of times they play with six DBs. So you know, obviously that speaks to the depth they have in the secondary and they, they play a lot of man coverage. So their guys are good at, uh, you know, playing what, uh, what is really the, the core fundamental coverage for them. And that's hard. If you, if you're playing as much man, you got to really count on those guys. They do a good job of that. So, you know, so offense, defense, I think they're just, they're just good across the board and special teams, you know, they typically have, uh, found ways to, to gain an edge. And that to me starts with their returners. They have two returners as opposed to the one dynamic one they had in years past, but they have two really dynamic guys that, uh, you know, can, can break open a game um, in one play. So um, there's a reason why they're undefeated. You know, they're solid in every area, if not, you know, really good in every area. And, you know, it's, it's going to take a, a, a great, Great effort by us, but we're going to have to really be zeroed in on what we need to do and do it as fast as we can. Um, what do you what do you see out of the quarterback out there? Well, I, I think he's he's got enough mobility that he can extend plays. He can make 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 plays with his feet. However, they're not trying to run him a lot, um, and he can get the ball out quick. And, and you know they're what they've added is the, the RPO element where, you know, they're, that was really part of their, wasn't part of their offense uh, prior to. So um, he's really making really good decisions and he's, he's accurate with the football. And like I said, they have a lot of guys they can throw it to. I, I think uh, he's playing real confident, um, you know, and they protect, they protect them pretty well. So, I mean, all those, those elements add up to, Know, being an effective passer and he's he's done that to this point and you know we're gonna we're gonna obviously have to do things to make him feel uncomfortable um you know get him get him in third longs um hopefully a bunch of times and you know get the stadium real loud and have him deal with that too i mean i, I so you know he's playing really well i've been really impressed uh with him to this point you mentioned the secondary i think they have anderson's now like five takes six years and yeah. i guess what is that kind of like game planning wise playing for a pretty aggressive uh, secondary? Well, that's that, that's a good good point, and it's not it's more than just him. I know he's got right. the interceptions, but but their willingness to play man as much as they do, and then the effectiveness with how they play it, um, they really challenge you. You know, you have to go out there and create separation, or 
win on 50 fifties, um, quite a bit, you know, they'll mix in some zone, but their bread and butter is playing man. Um, so, you know, it's, it's our hope that we can separate at times and we can win a few 50 fifties. Cause I think we have some guys that can do that, but you know, a lot of, uh, our success in the passing game, um, will be predicated on just how our guys can, you know, win those battles. Yeah. What's the, what's the advantage of uh, hosting a top five metric like this as opposed to when you play on the road? Well, I think with, with our environment, um, it's got to play in our, our fact, you know, play to our side. I, 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 you know, when you don't have to contend with noise, um, I mean, that's a, that's a benefit to you offensively. And when you have to, you have to factor in uh, how loud it's going to be in particular on third downs. I mean, that's something more that they'll have to um, work on this week. Uh, you know, I think there's certainly some, there's a the comfort of being home and all that, but you know, I think it just comes down to the crowd can really be a factor and our crowd can, and I, I'm certain will be. And, um, you know, we need to get them in situations where it really can become a problem for them. And that's typically your third downs. Um, so, no, I, we're excited to be playing uh, in front of the home crowd in this this game. It should be an excellent environment. And then one more. Uh, Willie got co-offensive yep. of the week this week. I guess what you think of his career high performance uh, this last week? No, it was really good. And, and he did it in a um, multitude of ways. I, I, you know, the the jump ball touchdown, um, the inside fade, um, the slant that he takes and runs. And then there was a – you know, there's a really important catch where he got interfered on early on our sideline. That was just an incredible catch. Um, you know, I think there's one screen mixed in there too. So I think it just, that game showed his, his versatility for sure. Um, we need him to be a playmaker. Um, we need Robbie to be a playmaker. We need Cleveland to be a playmaker. And I, I think by and large, that group has done it collectively. And it just uh, so happened this game, you know, it was a little more, the opportunity was a little more tilted to Willie, but he made those plays and the honor was well-deserved. Oh, and um, is there anything you saw from, uh, I guess, on film from Tommy's uh, first start there? I thought he played pretty well. I, I, you know, I think he completed 80% of his throws. He missed a couple and that that's maybe going to happen. Um, I thought, uh, you know, just his poise back there was apparent. Um you know, he got out and ran and scrambled for a couple first downs, which is going to be part of his part of his game. That's kind of the unscripted part when you get those plays. But I thought he sat back there and, and, and saw things pretty well and, you know, did make a, a variety of throws in that game, too. So it wasn't perfect by any means. But, you know, I, you flip it around. He had a couple guys make some really good plays for him, too. So, you know, uh, pleased with it. But I, I, you know, it was it was a good step for him. But I, I, I know there's better, too. Uh, Willie getting those jump, winning those jump balls. Um, I mean, last minute, it sounds like he's six three. But what, what do you see from Willie? What do you, uh, what does he do to be able to win so many? Well, games? yeah, he just, I think his timing's been good. I think, uh, he can, he can get up. I mean, I think that's part of it. Um, you know, he's, he's catching or attacking that ball at its highest point possible. And, you know, sometimes that sense of timing is more important than your size. Um, he's able to, you know, slow down at the right time and, you know, um, accelerate up in the air at the right time. I think that's, and you just really have a knack for that. I, I, you know, last year, it maybe wasn't that he couldn't do it. We just didn't ask him to do it. You know, it was, it was probably our, uh, always there to some, some extent. So he's been given those opportunities and um, he hasn't maybe got them all, but he's got most of them to this, to this point. Um, he's drew a few, uh, a bunch of interference calls too. Uh, so I think he's got, he just has that knack of, uh, you know, just knowing when to react and how to react. And, and Robbie, I mean, he's not got a ton of catches, but it seems like he's really committed to the blocking. Uh, I mean, what have you, uh, I guess, sense from him just as the season progressed? Yeah, I think both both him and Cleveland, I think um, same thing. I think they blocked really well. Um, I think, I mean, they're both mature, strong guys, um, you know, so and they, they take a lot of pride in it. Um, and I know uh, Robbie's a big dude. I mean, and, and he, I think there's more to it than that, but, you know, he's been able to get on some smaller DBs and, and really create some spring blocks where he's, you know, he sprung some big plays. And, and like I said, I, I 
they have no problem with it. They take pride in it. Um, and then when their numbers call in the past game, um, you know, they're ready to make plays there too. So I, you know, I think all along the collection of those three, however the numbers split up in any given week, um, they split up, but, you know, we're really looking at three, uh, the group of three being able to make a lot of plays and they have, and, and we'll definitely need that down the stretch. Join Town Pump's Pump It Up Rewards Plus program and never pay full price for fuel again. Save five cents on every gallon every day at any town pump across Montana. Plus earn and redeem points on your favorite in-store items to get free stuff with our clubs. Stop in and pick up a rewards card. Download the Pump It Up Rewards Plus app today. Or visit townpump.com slash rewards to register and start saving. those DBs that you mentioned, I mean, Hecker obviously hasn't had the, the stats that Anderson has, but is he somebody that you've seen maybe is somebody they're trying to not throw to because he's such a, been such a good player? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I see that. I think they're all pretty good. I don't, you know, um, in, in one of them, they play three corners a lot. One of them will play inside. They don't have a absolutely a true nickel like we do um, because they do play six six dbs a bunch they're kind of playing three safeties and then three corners um you know and, and how they pick and choose to match guys up is varied from game to game so i i think they're all pretty good i don't know that it's a you know why does one have the interceptions and, and I, you know, it's just sometimes the way the ball bounces i mean a couple of those balls have bounced up in the air and he's not, not even covering the guys so i mean it's um, I think they're good and, you know, they, they challenge them all. I mean, it, it's not like they're trying to protect any one, one of those corners. So, um, it'll be a big challenge for us. And, uh, did you get to watch any of Troy's performance on yesterday? I did not, you know, that, that early slot, uh, we're, we're meeting through that early slot, but, uh, obviously big day for him. Um, you know, uh, getting a chance to start, getting a chance to perform like that is, you know, it's taking advantage of your opportunity. So excited for him. And, you know, this is just to begin. I owe a trust. Anything else? Just a few minutes, small business owners can now sign up for Blackfoot Communication Services. Whether it's dependable voice options or internet services, sign up simply by visiting blackfootsmallbusiness.com. Click on the services you wish, select an installation time and date, and you are done. Small business services at the touch of your fingers. Connect to more with Blackfoot Communications and BlackfootSmallBusiness.com.